Garrett Morgan. You know, he is still working on his conch. He didn't quite have that right. <laughs> but he's still a brother. We knew it. And of course, I let the youngsters know about him inventing the traffic light, gas mask, and these type of things because a lot of our children here aren't really aware, you know, just of some of these things that we've created and the brilliance and all that. So I tell them, you know, I always give them some little quiz, you know, about them driving down the street and red, and they, you know, of course, they all know. And I said, well, this black man is the one who invented the traffic light. And they all stare at each other and mumble, you know. Uh, so it's, it's good for them to know. Franz Fanon, the brilliant psychiatrist, Wretched of the Earth is probably the thing he's most famous for. Um, but he really, if you read Wretched of the Earth and some of his other work, gets into the mindset of the colonized black mind. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when you're reading it, you're like, dang, that's Uncle William. You know, that's, that's exactly what he said. I mean, this man is brilliant in terms of just understanding us and understanding how the, the colonized mind works and the redemptive value of violence when well placed, especially in, in uh, resistance, the context of resistance. John Chilimbwe, John Chilimbwe was uh, educated, he's from Malawi, educated in the U.S. as a, as a religious man, he got his, his uh, there. Um, theological. Yeah, theological. But you know, when he came back to Malawi, you know, I mean, he had to deal with the realities of what the British were doing to African people there in Malawi. So he had to uh, call on God to help him get down, you know what I mean? So he's the one who knows how to deploy religion in a way that is beneficial to the people. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Seiko Touré, Seiko Touré, you know, when the, the British had, the French rather, had to leave Africa, every African country was given the uh, choice whether or not they wanted to remain in the, in the French community, so-called, you know? And all the rest of them bent to the will of the French and said, okay, we'll maintain the relationship. Uh, Seiko Touré said, no thanks, you know, you've done enough for us. <laughs> you know? And uh, of course they tried to destroy him after that. I mean, they literally physically destroyed the place before they left. But you know, he was able to stand strong. Seiko Touré. Also Seiko Touré was the one who brought Kwame Nkrumah in after Nkrumah was, was um, deposed here in Ghana and made him co-president there. And, uh, in Guinea. So, long history with uh, Seiko Ture. I'm a sincere, I don't know if some of you remember the uh, Negritude movement. This was a uh, movement of Africans, French-speaking Africans, you know, getting back into the African culture itself and not trying, and you know, writing about, not trying to uh, mimic everything they see out of the Greek culture, the Greek writing, poetry, and all of the rest. Say, look, we're African. This is the way we express ourselves. So this was part of the Negritude movement to just say, we're, we're not Africanizing the stuff you have. We're already Africans, and this is good stuff. You know, and so um, Amin Sisera was one of, the, one of the three main founders of, of the Negritude movement. He was a brilliant writer. Some of his writings, like Discourse on Colonialism and some of the other ones, and I believe he did poetry. He's just a brilliant thinker. But, really understanding how the colonial system worked in terms of impacting our culture, impacting what we thought about ourselves. The other ones with them were uh, Leopold Senghor from um, Senegal and Damas from, you're not in your head, another Caribbean country, I've forgotten. But anyway, together they, they really got this movement going and got a lot of traction. So the Sheikh Anta Jobs and the other people were all influenced by this kind of thing. Samurai Touré. Uh, I want to say, kind of like Shaka in a certain way, he was able to consolidate power at the expense of a lot of people, but you also have to realize his, it was probably required to have enough power to resist the French in West Africa as long as he did and as effective as he did. Now, he was eventually captured and killed or exiled and killed. Was he killed? Exiled for sure, probably killed too. But, um, you know, we just have to recognize that sometimes these things aren't always clean. You know, sometimes, you know, we lose a little here to gain a lot there. So he was able to uh, resist the French and they respected him. You know, you read about, the, you read the French talking about their engagements and their planning with them. It's clear that they had met their match and they had met their equal. They're related? And they are related, yes. Uh, oh. Seiko Touré is a distant nephew or something of, of, 
uh, Samori Ture in Ultimate Guinea. And we call it Guinea, but really, he, the area that he covered was much bigger than Guinea, you know, because it was really, I mean, he, was, he had come as far as Ghana in terms of, you know, just uh, consolidating some of his power. But then you have a lot of people in the system, of course, who say, well, he was also involved with uh, capturing people in slave trade and this kind of thing. And, you know, the history is there both ways. So you have to take the totality. So I get some pushback on this one sometimes, but... Like, you know, a few of these I do, but I try to say, keep your eye on the ball. Sometimes, in order to defend from the greater evil, you know, you, there's some other things that end up going down. So, not to defend it all, but power ain't always pretty. Kwame Ture, who is Stokely Carmichael for a lot of us coming up. Uh, he was born in Trinidad. Of course, you know, someone mentioned SNCC before. Uh, very active in the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee and uh, with the Panthers, but he popularized the term black power. I don't think he was the one who really came up with it, but he certainly was associated with it in my lifetime coming up. And of course, he saw the handwriting on the wall and realized that to actually build power for black people, you're gonna have to build power on the African continent. So he left, moved to Guinea, changed his name to Seiko, I mean Kwame Ture, he took the Ture from Seiko Ture, even though Sometimes you see Ture of this, or sometimes you see with an O. But, and he took the Kwame from Kwame Nkrumah. So it was Kwame Nkrumah, Seiko Ture, Kwame Ture. So that's Stokely Carmichael. And, you know, he was married to Mary, uh, Mary Makiba, who we looked at up there some time ago, and, you know, one of those things.